Greetings. Let me start today with a story. Two whales were discussing their experiences with humans. They had both uh, very specific views on what humans were, and they wanted to discuss whether humans were good or bad. So, one whale um, started discussing that, and they said, look, my experience with humans is very bad. My experience with humans uh, is based on what I saw them doing to uh, a friend of mine. What they captured her, and they did atrocious things with, with her. They, they said that it was all in the name of science or research for some reason, but what they did was absolutely barbaric. So my, in my view, humans are bad. The other whale said, well, that's very interesting because uh, what happened to me was that I lost my bearings at one stage. Uh, I beached myself. I found myself on dry land, about to die, uh, under the, uh, the weight of my own, uh, my own body. And I found myself surrounded by these humans. And the, I thought that I was dead right there and then. But to my surprise, these humans bandied up and started pulling me back into the water. Uh, instead of trying to kill me or doing or do me harm or anything, they started trying to pull me back into the water. And in fact, they saved my life. They got me back into the water. And this is the only reason I am able to talk to you today. So in my experience, humans are good. That's the end of the story. So how how is it that we could have you know, two whales talking about uh, humans with the same species. And yet you have entirely different views of that species. One whale thinks, thinks and can prove that humans are horrible. And another whale thinks and can prove that humans are wonderful. How can you even do that? Well, the, the answer is that it's really very silly to try and pigeonhole one entire species, to try to label one entire species. Because a species is uh, it's comprised of individuals, and each individual, a sentient being, a sentient individual, each individual has the opportunity to make a choice. I'm going to choose to be a positive person, a positive influence to those around me, or I'm going to choose to be a negative influence to those around me. It's up to the individual. It's not up to the species. That if you try to do this sort of mistake, that's the same type of mistake that people um, make when they are racist. They say, well, all people of such and such race are bad. All people of that other race are good. This is so stupid that I can't even you know, find words to describe it. It's really very silly to try and do this. Therefore, I, I really would caution us when we are doing you know, blanket statements about, well, for example, uh, reptilians are necessarily bad or non-terrestrials are necessarily bad or non-terrestrials are necessarily good. You can't, you can't make that call. You can't pigeonhole being sentient beings in such a way. Uh, so, for example, there has been quite a lot of controversy um, for some time now about uh, some evidence that people like uh, David Icke could be a uh, non-terrestrial 
So you see there videos where David Icke appears to have um, slit eyes, uh, which is a uh, shape-shifting characteristic, either rep reptilian or feline or something like that. In this other video, you have some evidence of what appears to be a shape-shifting taking place. I, this really doesn't look like a compression error, a video compression error. It actually moves with uh, David's uh, face. The error seems to move with David's face. And you have this other example there where there is something interesting happening with David Icke, uh, David Icke's uh, face there as well. And the, the errors, they move with David Icke's uh, face. <clears throat> it really does not seem like a compression error. Uh, compression errors, uh, video compression errors, uh, they, they have a different feel to, to them. It's not like that. So because of that, a lot of people started saying, look, David Icke is a it's not what he claims to be. Uh, and do not listen to him, blah, 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 etc. Now, the thing is, someone that has done so much service to humanity, such as David Icke, is being pigeonholed into a category that we are you know, automatically af uh, uh, afraid of. So we are or at least some people are automatic, just because they saw these strange things, they automatically pigeonhole David Icke into, uh, well, he's a reptilian, therefore he must be bad. This is a very, this is a, a mistake in my view. I think you have to see what is the choice that the person made instead of just jumping into conclusions that by, uh, by uh, certain genetic characteristics of someone, then therefore they must be bad, you have to watch what they are doing for humanity. This gentleman there, uh, he's a British gentleman, uh, his name is Simon Parks, and uh, he, the work that he has done for humanity in this time of ascension is absolutely astounding. Look at the works. Don't look at what um, genetic background uh, a person may or may not have. And the funny thing is that Simon Parks has openly stated, saying, look, I am a hybrid reptilian. So he has openly stated, I am a hybrid reptilian and with mantis and some other things. And look at what he's saying now. Range of people who uh, are good intentioned. And remember this, you could have a 100% reptilian soul, but you could make a choice for good. You know, that's a problem with the internet, spotty kids writing nonsense. You know, the previous speaker was absolutely right. Um, I'm going to tell you something, my eyes change. I'll be honest with you, and there are people in this room who have seen them change. My eyes go slip. But that doesn't mean I'm bad. So what you've got to do is to understand that we all make a choice. We make a choice for good, or bad, or I'm indifferent. So this is the mistake that uh, some people are making. So you pigeonhole people just by their genetics. So basically you're acting in the same way that the Ku Klux Klan used to act. So if you have a certain, according to them, if you have a certain uh, gene pool, you're bad. Uh, so I ask people not to make this same mistake. It's a very, very silly mistake. And by the way, let me uh, give you uh, some news. Uh, humanity is a hybrid species. You, that are uh, watching this video right now, you do have a mix on average. Uh, you, you are part of, uh, of 22 different genetic experiments that have been 
conducted since, I don't know, the dawn of time. And humanity is a hybrid race. So we, are all, we all have you know, uh, genetic characteristics from a whole bunch of different, uh, different species. Uh, and it's very unfair and it's very unwise to just go around saying if certain people have certain type of background, then they are necessarily bad. I think that this is not the way to go. We need to be smart and we need to do what Jesus said. Look, it's by the fruit, it's by the fruit of the tree that you know the tree. If you want to know if a tree is bad, look at the fruits. If a tree produces good fruit, it's a good tree. If a tree produces bad fruit, it's a bad tree. Um, this is really very clear. Uh, another example that Jesus himself uh, discussed, he gave the example of the good Samaritan. As you know, that Samaritans were considered to be racially inferior to, uh, to the uh, Israelites. And Jesus said, look, you have this Samaritan, which was the only person that decided to stop and help someone in need. So it's not about your background. It's not about your genetics. It's about the choices that you make on a daily basis. It's about whether you choose light or whether you choose darkness. So in the case of David Icke and Simon Parks, for example, uh, these individuals have rendered a fantastic service to humanity and their genetic background or, the, or where their uh, soul group comes from, to me, doesn't matter one iota. What matters is the work that these people are doing. They are helping, humani helping raise awareness about humanity's situation and they're helping um, bring knowledge to each one of us. And you may say that uh, this could be all deception. Um, well, it's possible. I, 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 I'm not claiming to be able to read into the minds of people. Um, however, all I ask people to do is look at the result of the work. Look at what is being done. Look at the fruit. If the fruit is good, it's coming from a good tree. If the fruit is bad, it's coming from a bad tree. So there's quite a lot of people just going on the internet and they see something funny happening in someone's face and then they jump to the conclusions and say, look, oh, that person is, is bad. That person is cloaking. That person is shape-shifting. Therefore, that person is evil and it's satanic. Uh, in reality, uh, the world is far more complex than that. And I think that it's time for us to grow up. It's time for us to stop acting in the same way that uh, you know, racists used to act in the past. We get um, drawn into these uh, conversations about the genetics or the, the, the background or the, the origin of a certain person. And we forget to uh, look into what this individual is effectively doing. What is the work that this individual is doing and how is this individual contributing to humanity. So this is my, my message for today, this video. I hope that this was useful for, um, for you in some way. Uh, so I'd like to ask you to uh, put your comments down below. Uh, and if you liked it, uh, please share and uh, subscribe. Thank you very much. Stay safe. See you next time.